Hello, friends and enemies. Hello! We're doing, we're doing something. I don't know. We're doing a quiz. Let's do a Silent Hill personality test. I'm wearing, I, I did wear my, I got my Heather shirt on. Yeah, look Ooh. at that. Looks like I'm just showing off one boob. Oh. <laughs> just flashing on one. <laughs> just the one. <laughs> just the good one, you know. Okay. All right. Here's, here's the first question. Okay. Okay, so this seems legit, okay? Because it's from Psychology 20. All right. Personality test. Psychology 20. All right. Which Silent Hill character is? <laughs> um, you arrive at a deserted town covered in misty fog. Your daughter has run off away from you. It could be dangerous. What do you think first? Is it, I've got to find her. She's my little girl. Or, is she out of her mind? I must be too. Or, man, I'm tired. <laughs> I should take a nap. <laughs> or, I'd never forgive myself if something happened. I have to go look for her. It'd be that one. <laughs> or, there must be a higher force at work. No, it's, I would never freak myself. Okay, here we go. Uh, you see monstrous demons around that try to kill you. Uh, they look like someone's waking nightmare. What are you thinking? <laughs> Is it? I take way too many drugs. <laughs> yeah, totally that one. Yeah, that's me. All um, over. Or... Run! Run the hell away! Or, this can't really be possible. Or, kill, kill, kill. Or, what the hell is going on? Oh, that's hard. Mm. Kill, kill, kill. I, I would say... Run the fuck away. <laughs> Cause you know, I'm a stealth Language. Right? Stealther. Run Almost, the hell away. I, I'm a stealther, right? So it's like, That's it's true. not so much about like, oh, I gotta get away. It's more like, I would see them and be like, I don't want to be seen. I'm just gonna slow. <laughs> you are <laughs> the, the Skyrim thing, like, I didn't. Yeah. yeah, that's what I'm going for. Your sneak stat just went up. Um, <laughs> you have found out some girl is about to give birth to a god that will cover the world in despair. What is your first thought? Is it, this must be some nightmare? Or, that's it, I'm leaving town, see ya! Or, I knew I'd live to witness this! <laughs> or, that couldn't possibly be true! Or, I'm going out of my mind. Wait, I gotta look at this again. Wait. I'm gonna go with... This must be some nightmare. As tempting as it is to be like, I knew I'd witness this someday. <laughs> <laughs> Sometimes I feel like that. Like one day I'm just gonna see something weird and I'm gonna be like, well, somehow I knew this was always coming. It's true. Mm -hmm. Apologies for my phone case and how boring and stupid it is. I'm saving up for a red bottle oh. one, but they're really expensive. They are expensive. They're good, but they're expensive. Okay, you kill a huge god, and a baby's born from the girl who birthed the god, and it is handed to you. What do you think? Is it, what have I been smoking? <laughs> or, I can't take care of anything. Or, uh, kill it. <laughs> Brutal. Or, it is vital that this baby survives. Or, I will take it and raise it as my own. I'm gonna go with... <laughs> Fuck is not a choice, ma'am. <laughs> I don't like, I don't like, Fuck. I can't take care of anything. It'd be like, I can't take care of a baby. Um, yeah, me too. I wouldn't raise it as my own, although... Neither would I. I wouldn't want to raise it as my own. Although... Although... What are the extenuating circumstances? Well, the extenuating say? circumstances is I don't know what this thing is. So you might raise it on your own? So I might raise it so that I could see what happens and, like, if it needs to be destroyed, I can destroy it. Like, that would be my thought process. <laughs> You're weird, man. All right. <laughs> okay, wh which one? That one? Uh, uh... I'm just gonna say it's vital this baby lives. Okay. All right. Um, you're very badly hurt, and you see a health drink floating about in an old, musty toilet. 
<laughs> with a questionable substance in it. What do you do? Do you? Fish it out and drink it. Waste not, want not. I'd rather be sick than die. Or, ew, I'll keep bleeding, thanks. <laughs> or, fish it out and give it to anybody who may be with me. Yeah. They probably need it more than I do. Or, you're kidding, right? Last but not least, turd fishing! Waste not, want not. If I was hurting. All right. I mean, especially if it's sealed, like... What's the problem? Disgusting, but what's the problem? <laughs> this question is, favorite colors? <laughs> it's got no subject, just favorite colors? <laughs> uh, darker shades, red, maroon, twilight purples, navy Kay. blues. Sounds Happier about colors, right. pinks, yellows, vibrant greens, violet, or gray. Well, that's hard. Are they just being incredibly difficult? That's not a vibrant color. What? Oh, gray is just a choice. Yeah. Okay, okay, got it. Or browns mostly, but I do dabble in reds here and there. Or red, blood, blood, red. Okay, that's real. That is actually really hard because it's yeah. darker shades. I like darker shades, but gray is one of my favorite colors. Oh. <sighs> I guess go with darker shades because it covers more bases. Because I like I like red, purple, and black. So this is the last question. But gray is another one of my favorite colors. So. You're being chased down by your worst nightmare and reach a dead end. What do you do? Do you swear like a sailor and shoot my gun like a madman? I'm a I'm I'm a bound. I'm bound to hit something. Or scream like a little girl. Okay. Or I refuse to believe this. I can't really be trapped. All right. Or, okay, I can make it through this. Or, there's divine intervention headed my way, baby. I would go with, okay, I can make it through this. Because if I was trapped, it would be like, all right, get ready to juke them. <laughs> like, I've put my back up against the wall. They're coming right at me. I better learn how to dodge. <laughs> well, that, uh, the results are in. You are James Sunderland! <laughs> Boy, are you ever in denial. You simply cannot face the truth. <laughs> no matter what someone tells you, you refuse to believe it. You are you are very stubborn. That was just me. No. <laughs> I mean, that's um, true. That's true. You will pursue anything with vigor yep. if it is important to you, yep. regardless of what anyone says. Yep. You believe what you believe. You may often blame yourself for things that aren't really your fault. Also and true. simply can't face the real truth. But, but I don't know what that real truth would be, but you know. <laughs> Cthulhu. <laughs> um, but you seek answers just as strongly, whether the answer is good or bad. All right, yep. I mean, that's pretty much true. <laughs> All right. You probably have depression. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we laugh to hide the pain. You probably have depression and anger problems, mostly because people I, I do. get in your way all the time and don't help you at all. Sometimes true. All you I want can't is say happiness, that's true. especially with someone you love. Sure. James Sunderland was the protagonist in Silent Hill 2. Fun fact. Fun fact. Factoid. <laughs> Did, Did you, you know? <laughs> the more you know. Wow, there you go. Okay, wait, no, now you have to do it. So you arrive at a deserted town covered in misty fog. Your daughter has run off away from you. Could be dangerous. What do you think first? I gotta find her. She's my little girl. Is she out of her mind? I must be too. Man, I'm tired. I should take a nap. I'd never forgive myself if something happened. I have to go look for her. Or there must be a higher force at work. Man. Because you know, I'm not gonna you, lie. These are, these are pretty hard. Okay. Some of these are hard. Like, first of all, I would say... Well, first um, you have to put yourself in the the, the the shoes of someone's like, I have a daughter. Right. Which is like never actually going to happen. Just no. Like, say either of us, so. No, no. Um, so it's like, your rat has run off. <laughs> your hamster has run off. <gasps> oh my god, my rat. Okay. <laughs> Alright, now I can relate. Your rodent has run off. Yeah, um, yeah, no, she's my little girl. 
Yeah, that one. I, I've got to find her. I've She's my find little girl. Her. Okay. She's my little rat. <laughs> you see monstrous demons around that try to kill you. They look like someone's waking nightmare. What are you thinking? I take way too many drugs. Here. Run! Run the hell away. This can't really be possible. Kill, 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 or what the hell is going on? Um, I do take a lot of drugs, but, um, only legal ones, because, you know, we live in Japan, and seriously, like, the drug laws are really strict, but I'm highly medicated, so, but I, they don't have, like, those kind of side effects, so, mm, um, yeah, no, I'm a pussy, though, I'd run, I'd just run, run, run the whole way! Mm -hmm. Um, you have found out that some girl is about to give birth to a god that will cover the world in despair. What is your first thought? This must be some nightmare. That's it. I'm leaving town. See ya. I knew I'd live to witness this. That couldn't possibly be true. Or I'm going out of my mind. See, it's a hard one because I also am drawn to I knew I'd witness this. I knew I'd witness this someday. <laughs> someday. Something but... weird was fucking gonna happen to me. <laughs> All this time. All this time. I was right. Um, mm. But I think I'm gonna go with uh, I'm out of my mind. I'm out of my mind. Yeah. Going out of my mind. You kill a huge god, and a baby is born from the girl who birthed the god, and it's handed to you. What do you think? What have I been smoking? I can't take care of anything. Uh, kill it. It's vital this baby lives, or I will take it and raise it as my own. It's a rat? Can I say it's a rat? Should I say it's a rat? I mean... Or should I say... Or should I look at think it, of it as, Think like, of this one like child. it's just a, like child. a human child. Yeah. I like kids. Um, you know... But I, I just don't want any coming out of my, my genitals. Um, or, you know, any orifice or no. any, anything. Not that they come out of another orifice, you know. It's, I just, I, you know, I, I don't, don't need them don't in want, my life. I don't want them. I don't need them. Uh, well, well, I, I would take it and give it away, but I mean, give it away. I mean, I would, put it up for it put, like, I would. Like, yeah, go like to the police and be like, person. I found a baby. Yeah, it's vital that the baby lives, though. I love kids. I wouldn't let anything happen to a kid. You're very badly hurt. You see a health drink floating around in a musty old toilet with a questionable substance in it. What do you do? Fish it out and drink it. Waste not, what not. I'd rather be sick than die. Oh, I'll keep bleeding. Thanks. Fish it out and give it to anyone who may be with me. They probably need it more than I do. You're kidding, right? Turd fishing! Um, ew, I'll keep bleeding, thanks. <laughs> Favorite colors, the darker shades, red, maroon, twilight, purples, navy, blues, happier colors, pinks, yellows, vibrant, greens, violet, gray, browns mostly, but I do dabble in reds here and there, or red, blood, blood, red. Uh, as tempting as the last one is, um, my favorite color is black, so I'm gonna go with darker shades, because I, I do like the blue, I thought blue, what blue, blue I got the black, so... You're being chased down by your worst nightmare and reach a dead end. What do you do? Swear like a sailor and shoot my gun like a madman. Like, it says man-man, actually. Man -man. <laughs> it does, instead of a madman. Oh. It says man-man. <laughs> like a madman. <laughs> the man-man I am. Yes. I'm bound to hit something. <laughs> Scream like a little girl. I refuse to believe this. I can't really be trapped. Which I, I almost picked that one, too, because it kind of goes along with, okay, I can make it through this. Right. Um, there's divine intervention headed my way, baby. Um, I actually would would pick the divine intervention, I think. Because, um, yeah, that's the kind of person I am. You guys are learning something about me today. <laughs> my God. You ready for this? It's going to happen. It's all going to be okay. You are Claudia Wolf. <laughs> Your business is your faith. You won't let anyone tell you what's what. You believe what you want to believe. Other people don't matter. You feel that everything happens for a reason. And yeah, if you true. were stuck in Silent Hill, it's your fate, your destiny, no matter what the outcome. That's kind of true. Your only dedication is completing your destiny, whatever it may be. You're also really pale. Claudia was the antagonist from Silent Hill 3. What? Wow, I'd never heard of her before. Um... Okay, all right. Yeah, that's kind of me. Um, yeah, I think, A little think, weird, like, but you know. Like, 10 years down the line, right? I'm 31 now. Um, when I'm 41, I'm going to be significant. Like, 
I'm a lot crazier now than I was when I was 20. I get crazier every five to 10 years, you know. So it is a thing. So I think I'm going to be probably a lot closer to like Claudia level crazy. So I think this is correct. I think this is for telling the future. But <laughs> but I don't know for sure until I do my gyromancy. You know, like you do. Gyromancy. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed that little um, thing we did. We're we're both apparently murderers. <laughs> <gasps> That's right. Yeah, but you didn't know what you were doing, and you were doing it for her own good. Uh, it doesn't make it better. Sorry. But I murdered people. Well, you had the you had the same you had the same feeling. You were like, I'm murdering someone for the the greater good. That's true. I feel better about myself. Bye! <laughs>